Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary. This is Books with the Focado where we talk about books and food every now and then. And today it is almost December and that means it's TBR time. And to come up with my TBR, we're gonna play a Haunted Christmas TBR game card. So, I love Halloween, you know it, you've been here, you know it, you've heard me talk about it. But I also love Christmas. I love anything that's like decoration time and gift time because Halloween, I know we don't give gifts to people, but I gift gifts to myself. So it's also like gift time and Christmas it is, I love giving gifts, I love receiving gifts. I love a gift bonanza and Christmas is a gift bonanza. I don't care about the religious stuff, like I'm just here for the food the gifts and the books and that's basically my personality in a sentence anyway i played i don't know if you remember the halloween haunted tbr game back in october or september i don't know when i played it and i thought why not make a christmas edition that you will find in the description box in case you want to play it with me and so i made my beautiful little cards here well they're upside down but whatever you get the gist of it uh, we have, like the previous time, a book buying uh, cards. They're like represented by this very cute cup of like hot chocolate. They're like, you know, these cards. We have the movie uh, cards that basically they're inspired by a movie and they have a trope under. I kind of adapted. This was easier to do with the Halloween movies because Halloween movies tend to be horror movies. Uh, when it comes to Hal like Christmas horror movies, the quality ain't it. Uh, so I chose traditionally horror like Christmas movies, and I found or related to like horror tropes to them. So that's why I did. So Home Alone, I put I put Home Invasion. So you know, I think I didn't get any movie cards last time. But basically, the idea is that I read the book, but I also watch the movie because that's the fun in it. I then have these specific TBR cards that are basically a book that I already own in my physical TBR. So if I draw this card, I must read this book. That's the thing. And then I we have one last type of card that I clearly do not hear. There, there's this like very cute cards that are like books, book prompts that need to be answered with a book that's in my Goodreads TBR or my TBR, but I must not buy the book. I mean, I must not buy a physical copy of the book. So it can either be answered by a physical book that I already own, a ebook that I will read either on my e-reader or on script or an audiobook. So no physical books for this card. So that's the thing. So those are the, ta the four types of cards. Uh, the four types of cards. You know, boo -boo -boo. there's also two jokers, but you know, to do whatever I want. Uh, the rules are very simple. I will draw the dice. Devils roll the dice. Uh, I will roll the dice. The number can only be, I can only draw a maximum of 10 cards. I will draw a minimum of four cards this time. I think last time I said like two. And I can only get three cards of the same time if I draw the maximum amount anyway I get what I see like what I what I'm saying you see what I mean uh, let's start playing I'm gonna shuffle the cards if you play the game ah! don't forget to tag me because I love seeing it when you guys play my games if you want to play the game, as I said, it's in the description box. And yeah, let's just have some fun. I'm gonna digitally roll a dice because, you know, I don't have that. I do have dice somewhere in my flat, but as per last time, I'm too lazy to do it. So I'm gonna roll a dice and we'll see what happens. There was one specific number that I did not want to have because my TBR is already super stacked as it is right now for the end of the year and I didn't want to get a 10 which is the maximum I can get and lo and behold what did I get? 
a freaking 10. So I guess we're gonna play the game. All right, so 10 it is. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. All right, first card. <sighs> it's always stressful to do this. Ooh, it's a physical TBR, uh, TBR card and it's the Atlas 6, yes. Okay, I recently hauled this book if you wanna see my book haul. Uh, and I was regretting buying this book because I have a lot of fantasy books in my TBR that I haven't read and I was like, I just bought another fantasy book and I'm not gonna read the previous ones. So I hesitated in putting this card because I was like, I just bought this book, am I really gonna read it right now? But I guess fate is fate, so I'm gonna read the Atlas 6. I just needed an excuse to read because honestly, I've been so hyped to read this book. It's a dark fantasy, dark academia fantasy with like magic and they have to go to this academia to be the very best and like they have like super intense trials and like it's basically the Hunger Games with like magic. So <laughs> yes, I will read this and I'm very happy about it. The card stays with the book. All right, second one is, Ooh, nice. It's a movie. Uh, it's a movie card. It's Catch Me, uh, Catch Me If You Can. It's Catch Me If You Can, which I have seen once. I don't know if it's a Christmas movie, but I thought about it when I was doing it, so I just put it in there. And for the horror trope, because it's a kind of like thriller movie, I put it as a thriller horror, so I'm gonna have to find a thriller horror that I want to read. So I'm gonna go and check my Goodreads TBR. I'm pretty sure I have some thriller horrors up there. Oh, it's, is it horror? It's a thriller and it's Christmas. So I think I'm gonna go for this because I've been wanting to read it. Like it's really like themed Christmas. So I cannot, you know, it's a good thing. It's uh, Christmas Presents by Lisa Unger and the story, I'm gonna read it to you. Instead of presents this Christmas, a true crime podcaster is, open, is opening a cold case. Madeline Martin has built a life for herself as the young owner of a thriving business, the next chapter bookshop, despite her tragic childhood and now needing to care for her infirm father. When Harley Granger, a failed novelist turned crime podcaster, drifts into her shop in the days before Christmas, he seems intent on digging up events that Madeline would much rather forget. She is the only surviving victim of Evan Handy, the man who was convicted of murdering her best friend, Steph, and is suspected in the disappearance of two sisters, also good friends of Madeline's, who have been missing for nearly a decade. It's an investigation that has obsessed her father, Sheriff James Martin, right up until his stroke took his faculties. There's more to read. There's a lot more to read. I'm not gonna read it. It's already good enough for me here. It's a thriller. It's a Christmas thriller. It fits the mood. I don't know if there will be some horror components, but it's the line between a thriller and a horror is sometimes very blurred. So I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna have fun with it. So Christmas thriller, yay me. All right, how am I gonna remember the books that I'm saying? Oh, I have a pen here. Okay, so I'm gonna, <laughs> how am I? <gasps> oh my God. Okay, so this is Christmas what? Christmas presents? Christmas presents by Lisa Unger. All right, we have another winner, baby. All right, third card is a Joker. Okay, I'm not gonna play this card now because I will see my nine books and then decide what this is gonna be because it will depend on my other books. So I'm leaving it on the side. Ooh, it's a Goodreads TBR and it's a book by an author that I love. A book by an author that I love. Well, I love many authors, but what book shall I read in a non-buying format, non-physical format? What authors do I like? Do I even like authors? It has to be a horror book. Okay, I have my... Do I even like... Oh, but I want to buy that book though. I'm not going to read it like... Mm. This is gonna be hard. Brady Hendrix, I like. I like Mona Awatu. Uh, I like Silvia Moreno Garcia. I like Leila Martinez, but I really like Leila Martinez. Oh, I'm gonna read, read uh, Looking Glass Sound by Katrina Ward. That's what I'm gonna read. Looking Glass Sound, because 
I read Sundial recently and I really liked it. And that's the second book by an author, by the author that I really enjoy. So I really want to go further and like farther and beyond. So I'm going to go and read Looking Glass Sound, which if I remember well, it's a story about a man who lives like close to sea and he wants to like uncover some crime in the area and he's a journalist or a writer or something like that. So it's kind of like a soft horror type of thing, but I think that's the winner. So I'm going to put looking sorry if that's not the plot of looking glass sound i'm just doing it by memory because i've already talked about this book so i'm gonna go with looking glass sound and i think i have the audiobook so that's perfect catriona word 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 all right that's three plus my joker so let's go for the fifth card already Ooh, hoo, hoo. this is a ah! it's a book buying card boop, 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 boop. all right Okay, do I really hate myself? Pick a book that you think will be a five star and a book that you think won't be. Flip a coin and decide which one you will read. Oh, oh my God, that's gonna be hard. Mm. Well, I was gonna do that with uh, Nestlings because Nestlings is a five out of five, but I've already bought it, so it doesn't really count. I'm gonna go with one to read them. I'm not buying any fantasy, so no fantasy, no fantasy. Okay, so a book that I think I'm definitely gonna like and will be a five-star read for me is Las Indignas by Agustina Vaterrica, the author from Tender is of Flesh. In a book that a lot of people have talked to me about, but I'm feeling a bit like, you know, I don't think I'm gonna enjoy that much, is... And that I would potentially like to buy. I'm kind of like cheating on this one because like... Arhidus Progeny. Uh, Arhidus Progeny is a gothic like story kind of like with Frankenstein, by Frankenstein vibes. I do love Frankenstein, so I think I'm gonna like it. But I don't think I'm gonna love it and give it a 5 out of 5. Because it's a gothic retelling type of style. And I kind of have issues with gothic retellings. So, I'm gonna go with either Arhidius Progeny, which is a fan favorite and a lot of people have told me it's gonna be a 5 out of 5, but I don't think it will be. And Las Indignas but by Agustina Asterica, which I think will definitely be a 5 out of 5 for me. So, I'm gonna flip a coin, but I don't have a coin. And the only thing I have next to me, because I'm definitely not moving, I had a very long day, I'm not standing up from a couch, is this, my camera objective protector. So, I'm gonna flip it. If it falls on canon, it's face. And if it, fall, if it falls on canon, it's Agustina's book. If it falls here, it's Arhidius Progeny. Well, this is way too big to flip it, but here we go. Ooh! All right, well, it's Agustina's book. So I'm gonna go and buy it because that's a very good one and I cannot wait to read it. So, okay, I'm gonna tell you what it's about though before I go to the other car. Okay, it's a cult book. I, it's a cult book. It's a dystopian uh, society where like with like climate change and all of this, a lot of catastrophes have happened on Earth. And we follow a group of women who have been like, you know, absorbed, kidnapped by a cult. And like they have to uh, answer the orders that one of the sisters in the cult tell them. But... They don't know who's asking for these things. They don't know who's saying these things. They just know that he, she refers to him by him. And so we follow the story of this situation. It's told through the diary of our protagonist and it's kind of like a found footage type of story. So cults, yay. Agustina Vasterica, yay. Found footage type of storytelling, st storytelling yay. Possible feminist point of view in this book because I mean we know this girl like we know this woman and sh we know what she's gonna do uh, Yay, so I'm very hyped. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna love it and if I don't well, I'm gonna be sad. Bye. Bye All right, that's the one two wait one two three four five books. We'll go for the sixth card I'm really hoping one card appears and if not, I'm gonna switch the Joker for that card that's what I'm gonna do, most likely. But let's go. Oh no, it's not a joker. Well, I'm not gonna use two jokers, so I'm sorry. I'm drawing another card because two jokers is kind of cheating. 
All right, next one is a... Like, the cards are attached to each other. I cannot separate them. All right, <laughs> the next one is a book buying card and it's a... I cannot read. A translated horror book. Well, I guess Agustina's technically could have fit, like Las Indignas could have technically fit this, but I need a translated horror book, so in the language that I don't understand, so I'm gonna go for Korean or Japanese horror. Because, yay. Korean horror, how do I Google this? I do have a lot of Korean horror in my Korean horror. Well, I'm buying Cursed Bunny by Bora Chung. It's been on my TBR for ages. I didn't know she was a Korean author and I didn't know it was translated fiction. So, haha, <laughs> we have a winner. Cursed Bunny is a gender genre-defying collection of short stories by Korean author Bora Chung, blurring the lines between magical realism, horror, and science fiction. Chung uses elements of the fantastic and surreal to address the very real horrors and cruelties of the patriarchy and capitalism in modern society. McQueen, yes, I'm buying that. All right, so that's my... Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six cards. We're gonna go into the seventh one. And it's a Goodreads TBR card. And it's a horror book set during the holidays. Okay, 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 okay. I kinda know what, which one. Like, I wrote that prompt thinking of a book. So I'm gonna go and say the book. And it's Candy, Can Candy Cane Kills. Okay, Candy Cane Kills. Oh, what fun it is to die when Austin's parents drag him and his little sister Fiona to a remote cottage for Christmas. He's less than thrilled about the force bonding exercise. But after learning that their holiday getaway was the site of a horrific crime, this family on the rocks will have to fight for their lives against a legendary killer because Candy Kane is slashing through the snow with a very long naughty list. Come on, what other book fits the description of the horror card I just draw? So. Candy cane it is. Candy cane. And I wasn't really sure about buying it, so, you know, it's good that I draw that card. We're gonna draw the eighth card, and the eighth card is... <laughs> Die Hard, which I've recently watched, so I'm not gonna watch it again, but Die Hard, and it's action horror, and I know the book for that. I'm gonna read The Troop by Nick Carter, because I've been meaning to read it for a long time. And I know it's a bit action-packed, like I've read that it's kind of like, you know, a lot of things happen in it. So I'm gonna go for that one and we're gonna have fun with, with Nick Cutter, the troop. Because I think this book has been in my TBR for like three or four times, so it's it has to happen. And I'm gonna have put it now. Alright, the next one, the ninth card, so we're reaching the end. It's another horror movie and I'm so happy because my boyfriend hasn't watched Ghostbusters and this is gonna be the perfect occasion. And obviously, Ghostbusters calls for a ghost book. And honestly, I have no idea what book I'm gonna read. Because <laughs> ghosts are nice, but like, do I really read that, read that many ghost books? That's the thing. The Little Stranger. The Little Stranger by Sarah Waters is in my TBR and it's a horror book. It's a ghost horror book, so I'm gonna go for that. One post-war summer in his home of rural war Warwickshire, Dr. Faraday, the son of a maid who has built a life of quiet respectability as a country physician, is called to a patient at Lonely Hundreds Hall. Home to the heiress family for over two centuries, the Georgian house, once impressive and handsome, is now in decline. Its masonry crumbling, its gardens choked with weeds, the clock in its stable yard permanently fixed at 20 to 9. Its owners are struggling to keep pace with the changing society as well as the conflicts of their own. But are the Aerises haunted by something more sinister than a dying way of life? Little does Dr. Faraday know how closely and how terrifyingly their story is about to become intimately entwined with his. I'm not reading a lot of horrors from that, this, a lot of ghosts from that description, but I'm hoping there's gonna be some ghosts. So, the little, um, the little stranger. It's called the little stranger, so maybe it's a little ghost. All right, we have the next and last card. Wait, what? How many cards have I drawn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, one more card. Numbers, how do they work? 
All right, so the last card, it's happening. We're getting, I'm just shuffling the cards again, not to get more movie cards because there were like five movie cards in a row and like, you know, that was all of the movie cards. So the last card is, ah! <laughs> okay, okay. I was waiting for this card. I purposely put a Nestlings card because I wanted to talk about a very specific thing that I want to talk about. I was going to use the Joker card, which is why I kept it till the end. So this, in case this card was not coming up, well, I guess I can use the Joker for something better after, even though this is pretty good. So the card I draw is Nestlings by Nat Cassidy, a book that I've been meaning to read for a very long time. Well, we're going to read it. I'm going to read it, but I'm going to read it with you guys because with Maddie, with Soul by Maddie, we kind of rethought a bit the book club, the horror hideout. Uh, it was taking us too much time to do the live discussions. A lot of pressure, no good. We don't like pressure, boo pressure. So we decided to take it a bit more chill and we're gonna do it through Fable. So, hmm, yes, you heard it right. We created a Fable account. Well, I created a Fable account because Maddie already had one. And we created a horror hideout account so it's easier to, you know, join us and see the discussions uh, and that way you know you know what's going on so we created the horror hideout book club on fable and the first book we're gonna read is nestlings by nat cassidy my book is on a way i hope i get it before the book club starts we are opening it this week you'll have the link in the description and we have a month to read the book so you know i cannot wait to see what you think about like think about this book if you've read it already please join us because i feel like a lot of people like this book and it's the biggest disappointment disappointment for everyone not to be nominated on the good Risk choice award so please join us for the discussion it's gonna be so fun uh and uh yeah so that's the thing i wanted to announce and i made this card just for it i almost cheated and put like several nestling cards in case it, you know it wasn't coming out but in the end it did and i was keeping the joker for the end but in the end it happened so that's destiny and so as i said the fable link is in the description box come join us maddie and i we're gonna talk about this book and we want to talk about it with you guys so let's go ahead and do it and now for the joker the Joker card is the last card and honestly, it gives me a lot of pressure. It means that I'm gonna have to choose wisely. And honestly, I don't know what to do. There is a lot of books that I'm currently reading that I want to read, that I wanna continue reading and whatnot. One, a lot of them are part of the Goodreads Choice Awards because that's basically been my TBR for the past weeks. I've been a bit like reading horror nonstop. Not that it bothers me, but like, when I have a very specific horror TBR to do, it's very hard for me to keep it up. I have two books that I haven't started reading on the on the challenge that I've been very curious about. Uh, one of them is The Reformatory by um, Tanarif Dew. And if the book is on paperback and it's already out, I might get that one because honestly, I don't know why something really calls to me about that book. It's not the type of book that I would buy, but it's a historical fiction. It's a historical horror book and I'm not into historical stuff, but I don't know why the story, the format, the cover, I don't know why it calls to me and I might buy it because it really looks great. It's very long though. And I think I'd rather read long books on paper. So, you know. But I'm also going to check Lawn Women, which also is one of the ones that I'm very curious about. And I think, sadly, the paperback... Well, the paperback is not out, so that takes it out of the question. And the last one I was curious about is... The other one that I was curious about is Monstrelio by... Uh, I'm going to check. I don't think the paperback is out, so that takes it out of the question as well. Yep, the paperback is not out. And the last, but I think it's gonna go for the reformatory, is Dead 11 and it is not out yet. So I guess the reformatory it is. So I'm gonna put it here and we're gonna do a quick recap and then we're gonna call it the day because it's already late. It's late for me, maybe not for you guys, but it's late for me and I'm hungry and I need some chicken. I'm running a half marathon this weekend, which means that I've been eating mostly chicken. <laughs> and pasta since the beginning of the week okay let's do a recap so we have my joker card which is the reformatory by tanarif du 
a historical horror fiction that I'm very curious about and that has been nominated for the Goodreads Horror Choice Awards, so interested. We have a movie card, Catch Me If You Can, that has been represented by Christmas Presents by Lisa Unger, a horror thriller or a thriller book, but whatever, you know, reading a thriller is good every now and then and it's a Christmas horror, like it's a Christmas thriller, so that's good too. Die Hard, which was the action horror trope and that's gonna be the troupe by Nick Cutter. I think it happens in the mountains too, so you know, that's Christmas-ish. Ghostbusters, which is gonna be represented by The Little Stranger by Lisa something or Sarah, Walk Sarah Walker. A haunted house slash ghost horror story, so we'll see which one it is. We then have a physical book from my TBR, The Atlas Six, a dark academia fantasy book. We have a horror book set during the holidays and that's Candy Cane Kills that has been chosen. A book by an author that I love and that's Katrina Award that got the award with Looking Glass Sound. And then I had two physical books, so in the end, two buy physical books, so in the end I'm buying three books, which is pretty good. I think it was the same last time. And I, it was the picking a book by, you know, flipping the coin. And it's going to be Las Indignas by Agustina Bathorica, a feminist dystopian horror book that I'm going to love. And the last one was a translated horror book and the winner is Cursed Bunny by Bora Chung. So how great is that? And the last book in my TBR, Nestlings, that we're all going to read together. So the link is in the, dis the link to the Fable Book Club is in the description box. So you know what to do. We're going to have a lot of fun. So come join us. We're going to read this book and talk about it and gossip and rant about the fact that it was not nominated to the Goodreads Choice Award. So let's do that together. So those are the 10 books that have been added to my TBR for the end of the year. I approximately have a thousand books to read by the end of the year, which is insane. I have the Goodreads Choice Awards. I have many other videos planned by the end of the year, which adds more books to my TBR. And now I have 10 more books because obviously I rolled a 10 dice roll. Like what? That's insane. If you decide to play the game on your own, please let me know the results because I love it when you do it. And let me know what other books are you planning on reading in December, whether or not you play the TBR game. And yeah, if you read any of the books that I will read, please let me know in case, you know, I need to prioritize, you know, decide to read some and not others. Don't forget to join the Fable Book Club for the horror hideout. And thank you so much for watching, as per usual. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, comment, spread the tofu love. Have a super great month of December and I'll see you guys next time for more content. Bye!